Welcome to our fourth video in our series on organizing your garage. As you can see, my cabinets have arrived, so now the fun and the clock begins. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install these large locker cabinets over on this side, and I'm also going to demonstrate how to install these wall cabinets up against the wall that's back here. Now a lot of what I'm going to show you today is specific to these new age cabinets. However, there are a lot of tips and tricks in here that you can use for just about any type of wall mounted cabinet. So while I was waiting for these cabinets to arrive, I went ahead and I installed the four foot slat walls back in this corner here. And I also installed one locker cabinet. This was basically my trial run to figure out what works and what doesn't. Once your cabinets arrive, I have one favor to ask of you. Please read your manufacturer's installation instructions. This is very important, not only so you do it properly, but so you do it safely as well. So why don't we get started on installing these cabinets? Here's an overview of how these cabinets are installed. Each cabinet gets two of these brackets. These brackets take two lag bolts that go into the wall, into a stud in the wall, and then the cabinet goes up against the wall, so if this is the wall, bracket's installed, it goes up against the wall, over the bracket, and then it comes down onto the bracket. After that, four more lag bolts go two at the top, two at the bottom, and those bolts also have to be installed in studs. If you watched the pre-installation video, you know that I went ahead and I marked all my stud locations. One thing that I forgot to mention is that the brackets have to be within one and three quarters of an inch from the sides of the cabinet. So when you choose your stud locations, you have to make sure that you choose the ones that fall within that clearance. So here, I've marked where my cabinets are gonna go and then I've measured to make sure that I meet that clearance. So these two brackets meet that clearance. There's a stud here that does not meet that clearance. When it comes to installing the brackets, you're gonna need a torpedo level to make sure that it is plumb and level. I also recommend taking what's called a self-centering drill bit to do your initial pilot hole. What this does is it makes sure that your pilot hole doesn't drift. This will ensure that it's always dead center in the mounting hole of the bracket. I take a number eight self-centering bit here. I do my initial hole, then I pull down the bracket and I drill a full-size pilot hole before I then drive the lag screw in with my impact driver. I do all the brackets on a continuous bank of cabinets. This will ensure that the tops and the bottoms of the cabinets are flat and level. I use a very long level to help me with this process. And I constantly butt the next bracket up against the level so I know it's in the exact spot. I don't need to use my height markers for this uh, since I'm relying on the level. Now that we have our brackets installed, if you'll recall, we need to drive four lag bolts through the inside of the cabinet. There are slots for that, and we need to know where the studs are. So an easy way to do that is to take a long level. You can take a short one and walk it down if you need to. Make sure that it's perfectly plumb. Mark at the top. And then also mark at the bottom because we'll be putting a bolt down there as well. Now installing the cabinets is a two person job. These cabinets are something like 250 pounds and they're quite bulky. It's not even worth attempting to do on your own. To make installation of these wall lockers easier, I'm gonna use these furniture dollies which have a block of wood attached to raise the height of the cabinets. My assistant and I will both use metal fence posts to then slightly lift the cabinet off of the dollies. Each of these posts has a cloth wrapped around it so we don't damage the finish on the cabinets. While we lift, we push the cabinet up against the wall, we kick out the dollies and then we lower the cabinet down onto the brackets. As a safety measure to protect the cabinet and our toes, I place blocks under the cabinet in case we miss the brackets. Once the first cabinet is installed, we then do the second cabinet. 
you want to install adjacent cabinets before you bolt the cabinets together and also before you insert the additional lag screws through the back of the cabinet. After you have a bank of cabinets installed, you then install the bolts that connect the cabinets together. Finally, you install the lag screws that attach to the back of the cabinet and go into the studs. This is where those vertical lines that I made with the level come in handy. I know exactly where to place the lag screws without searching for a stud. For the wall cabinets, the process is exactly the same, but actually a little easier. I still mark the stud location since each wall cabinet still gets four lag screws. I just don't draw it as far down. I install all the cabinets that will be connected together before I then bolt them together and then I finish up by driving the four lag screws into each cabinet. Well that does it for the installation today. It's not much to look at at this point but I did get it installed. I got the multi-use lockers installed over here and I got the four wall cabinets installed. And look I actually do have room to park both cars in the garage so so far so good. The only thing I didn't get done on the wall cabinets is I didn't install these light valances that come with it. I'm undecided on whether or not I'll use those, so I'm going to probably save that until the end. So next time I'm going to install the pegboard system underneath the wall cabinets, and then the episode after that we will install the base cabinets, which will also include a countertop. Thanks a lot for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. That was easy. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Nervous? <laughs>